hey guys welcome back to my channel so you guys you can already see what's going on here this boy like i was doing my makeup trying to film this video and immediately i finished my makeup about to start he literally started crying like non-stop crying and this was the only way to film this video now so he's going to be here with us uh today anyways um so today's video is just a very important video if you ask me because i know that this is something a lot of people struggle with even though not a lot of people are vocal about um you know the struggles they face when it comes to breastfeeding so today's video i'm just going to tell you guys like how breastfeeding has been for me with my two kids the struggles i faced and just how i overcame it and just what eventually happened so if you want to hear my story and just how i feel about the whole breastfeeding stigma then just keep on watching okay um so guys like for me when it comes to breastfeeding it happened almost exactly the same for my two kids with kobe and kaito it was almost the same scenario which is what i'm going to tell you guys i'm not going to tell you guys uh like about the two separately because this video will be very long so i'm going to try and keep it short and quick and just combine the two stories together so when i gave birth to both of them kobe i gave birth through um normal delivery the vaginal delivery and kaito was via cs but sincerely the method of delivery did not make any difference when it comes to breastfeeding like it doesn't change anything when it comes to you being able to breastfeed your child at least in my own case so um when i had them you know the first hour or so after birth that was the first time i tried to breastfeed for the both kids and you know you know the funny thing is before you give breath you think breastfeeding is going to be a breeze it is not guys like first of all latching was so difficult i couldn't get them to latch like on my own i had to get in the breastfeeding expert from the hospital and they came and they helped me to position them well they helped me to like position myself well and they just tried to make you know the, the latching process and the whole breastfeeding process easy for me but even at that it was so difficult for both of them to actually latch but kaito was a little bit better because i remember the first day like he was literally on the breast like half of the day he he like he wasn't latching on properly but he was trying to breastfeed and i think that was my mistake like i let it go on because i just wanted so much for him to breastfeed at that point you know but with kobe kobe just wasn't really like I don't know how to put it like he, he didn't breastfeed that much you know and for me because i'm always open to both breast milk and formula so i was like you know what since he's not getting milk you know he can take formula and i did the same for for both of them but kaito for the first day didn't take formula at all because he was really you know trying to breastfeed he was there for hours in a day then um yeah for kobe i started giving him formula from the day he was born for kaito it was actually the next day because i remember that after like 24 hours he just kind of stopped latching properly and he stopped trying to breastfeed and it was really a hustle trying to just the whole process was just a hustle trying to make everything perfect trying to make everything work was a hustle you know so we i just gave him formula the second day and i let that go then i went back home and i kept trying to breastfeed this was the same thing with both of them and i know there are some people that give birth and their milk is flowing but then again there are some people that give birth and then you have like no milk for days and i'm one of those kind of people so even though they were trying to breastfeed and at the same time i was trying to pump the milk wasn't really coming out which i feel like is one of the things that were making the kids frustrated and they were crying and because i was open to formula i gave them formula i know there are people that are not open to formula and really want to breastfeed but sincerely personally i'm not saying it's wrong but personally i don't see why my kids will have to suffer you know when there is an option when there is something i can do about their suffering you know why should i keep them hungry when i can do something about it but anyways that's just me okay and i gave both of them formula and then i kept trying to breastfeed but at like the third day you know even though i wasn't breastfeeding them as often i was trying to pump as often so you know like pumping is the same motion as breastfeeding so that just helps your your milk come out faster and then the third day with both of them the exact same thing started happening to me you know my nipples started cracking and just started like 
it, it, it looked like a wound basically it looked like i had a legit injury there and it was just a horrific thing to go through it was so painful obviously i called my doctor and i asked my sisters as well and they were like you just have to stop breastfeeding with that breast immediately because even in the hospital it started happening a little bit in the hospital and they told me not to use that breast again and i should just try using the other one and then um it just it wasn't easy guys so i stopped and i started making sure to apply all these like nipple creams out there and just stuff like that to you know heal the wound quicker and just like you know get back to breastfeeding as soon as i can you know but it just it took time and at that point your breast now start getting engorged and it's painful and you know what there is nothing nothing good about breastfeeding in the beginning stages for me at least i know that for some people they can go through all this and eventually like you know still bounce back and everything starts working out for them but that wasn't my case in both my kids it wasn't my case whatsoever so yeah after the injury healed it happened the same thing with two of them funny enough you know around that time it's been a week and they've been drinking formula obviously and um i tried the breastfeeding again and then latching was still a problem because obviously they've gotten used to the mouth of the bottle so it was difficult for them to get used to like getting milk straight from the breast if you get what i mean but yeah at that point i just thought to myself you know what breastfeeding is really not by force i know because i am open to both I didn't really it wasn't a big deal for me but i know there are people that so desperately want to breastfeed their kids and do exclusive but that wasn't me my mom did not do exclusive for any of us and i grew up knowing that you know children will be smart if they're supposed to be smart children will grow well if they're supposed to grow well and i don't believe the whole stigma that um if you don't breastfeed your kids this happens that happens i don't because all of us in my house we did not do exclusive like my mom didn't do exclusive for us and with my son Kobe, I did not do exclusive for him. Like Kobe stopped breastfeeding at two months exactly. And the same thing as Kaito. Right now, he is not breastfeeding and he's 10 weeks and he's no more breastfeeding. He doesn't even want to latch on the breast. He doesn't want the breast milk. And sincerely, I know some people will say, oh, you can keep pumping it and giving it to them with bottle. But that's just a hustle. And at the end of the day, they are getting nutrients that you know they're getting all the nutrients they basically need and sincerely speaking they even get more nutrients from the from the uh, formula than the breast milk because you actually feed your baby what you eat for example if you're breastfeeding and you're eating fufu every day fufu every day you're not taking fruits and vegetables that is what your children are getting like you're not exactly giving them nutrients that you yourself don't have in your body so you have to have those things to be able to give it to them so that's why they say when you're breastfeeding you eat right and take your postnatal um what's it called vitamins but not everybody do that so at the end of the day giving my baby formula like there are a lot of formulas these days that are very very close to breast milk if not the same thing as breast milk they always say the closest formula to breast milk because you can't exactly call it breast milk because it's really not but yeah um my children they get everything they need from those formulas and i'm okay with that you know i don't have to kill myself i don't have to like break down because oh i'm not able to do this i see a lot of posts on instagram you know people breaking down people being angry and sad because they're not able to breastfeed because of one reason or the other <laughs> yes slipped because of one reason or the other but sincerely you don't have to kill yourself over it you know it might not happen with your first child then with your second child breastfeeding can be so different i know some people that with their first like child they couldn't breastfeed but with the second one it was so easy and so perfect and vice versa so like instagram just puts a lot of pressure on people these days you open up instagram you're seeing different accounts on you know like mothers breastfeeding their children you see people filling up freezers refrigerators with like breast milks and you're there looking at yourself like this is a fellow woman like me this is actually someone's mom and i'm here and i can't even like pump half a bottle because i remember there was a time that i could not even pump half like all my life of breastfeeding and all my life of pumping i've never pumped one full bottle of breast milk believe it or not not at a time like i can pump one full bottle twice like if i if i pump twice then i can fill a bottle but i've never filled one bottle at once and i'm okay with that you know i am fine with that i am fine that there are people out there that 
can feel i have friends even my sister can feel like 20 bottles a day i swear but that's not the case for me and i'm fine you know i'm okay with that and you know there might be reasons for that you know in my case i'm not going to get into it but there are medical reasons why some people cannot just produce as much breast milk as some people and there are just people that with no reason it's just how it is for them and it's okay i just want you guys to know that it's okay you don't have to like you don't have to be sad right you don't have to start like doubting yourselves or like you know your capability as a mom or something just because you cannot breastfeed because i have you know some people that had questions when it comes to like this whole breastfeeding thing and i'm just here to tell you guys it is okay your kids can survive on formula they are going to be fine you know it's it's just okay don't kill yourself over it and then again when it comes to me i know a lot of people do exclusive for six months and even if they are like using formula they do formula exclusive for six months but for me i start giving my kids um food at two months by food i mean baby food like um what's it called like just um all these baby food they are baby food for different ages so depending on their age i normally start at two months i start giving it to them and my mom does the best dawa if you know what dawa is i think it's guinea corn or something that they like make so it's like pap and my kids start taking that at two months. Kaito is currently taking it. Kobe is taking it. And when Kaito eats, for example, at 10 in the night, he sleeps till like 4 a.m., guys. I am so blessed when it comes to sleeping with my children. Like the first two months, they were not like that. But eventually, you know, it, it happened for them. It happened for Kobe at two months. It happened for Kaito at two months, you know. And I feel like the food I give them, it just fills them up so much that it lasts. And that's another thing I just couldn't get. Like with breastfeeding, you literally have to feed on demand all the time and some people are okay with that me personally maybe because i wasn't given the chance to actually experience that i feel like oh i wouldn't have been able to do it but at the end of the day it is what it is i'm raising my children up the way the best possible way i can i'm giving them enough nutrients kobe is doing so well he's thriving even better than you know a lot of people his age his growth is amazing he's never sick like kobe's first sickness since he was born was just a few weeks ago after i've had kaito that was the first time ever he has ever fallen sick since he was born. the other ones are usually like immunization fever or like um like one time it was like a boil or something but kobe never falls sick you know even kata or nothing he didn't have cold or anything the first year of his life i think his first cold was sometime last year and yeah he didn't even take breast milk you know so at the end of the day you do what is best for you and your children don't let social media pressure you into you know forcing your body to do what your body is not ready for or just forcing your body so hard or just or just like looking down on yourself because you're not able to do it and you know you feel like other people are doing it so that's just all i wanted to come here and tell you guys and just share my own personal struggles with breastfeeding i've really really struggled when it comes to breastfeeding but i've gotten a point where it's like you know what i'm okay with it I, my children must not breastfeed there are some people that don't even get the opportunity to breastfeed their kids you know there are some people that because of medical reasons or some people have had cancer or just so many different reasons and can't breastfeed their children and they're okay with that you know so all the social media posts about breastfeeding like they need to start taking into consideration the fact that there are reasons why people don't breastfeed their kids one and secondly like um you know breastfeeding as much as is good is not something you should pressure people into yeah. doing that's just my take on breastfeeding and the whole thing so yeah i just wanted to come out here and share this with you guys and just kind of answer the few questions that some of you asked me online and yeah i hope this video was helpful and informative and you guys should say hello to our vista today thumbs up for kobe okay and let me know if you have breastfeeding struggles in the past and how you overcame it you know right now with my two kids i'm not thinking of a third one but eventually if a third child comes again i'm going to try breastfeeding but if it doesn't work i'm not going to kill myself over it okay anyways um yeah i will see you guys in my next video i don't even know what i'm saying god you guys don't forget to thumbs up this video subscribe if you're not subscribed please and you guys like my new backdrop this is another backdrop i think i'm going to be switching it up you guys love the other one so much i feel like you know what i need to be switching things up because i even got tired of looking at the other one maybe that won't be for beauty videos and i shall have different backdrops depending on the video um about to make if you get anyways i'll see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.